Hi guys, Last Bullet here, and today I have another Black Ops 3 tips and tricks video. And see, so yeah, today I'm going to be covering a big uh, topic that a lot of people always want to know: how can they improve at Black Ops 3 or like, get a high KD? But I'm going to kind of be like giving you guys five tips today on how to improve slash improve your KD. Um, and so yeah, I'm only giving five tips today, but if we can hit 10 to 15 likes or even more I'll definitely post a part 2 where the tips are going to be a lot more in depth and they're definitely like things you wouldn't have heard of a lot more like these tips are kind of like kind of like the basics and then if we hit 10 plus 10 15 plus likes then I'll definitely do more in depth um, for the five and then so on. I might even do another I might even put like, full on series and if you do want to um, stay up to date with like my channel and with more tips and tricks and everything, subscribe if you are new. It really would mean a lot as we're trying to hit 2,000 subs. And so let's get straight into this. Now the first tip is play defensive. So this doesn't mean camp. This doesn't mean sit in a corner and like don't move. This means like don't go full out rushing. Don't like say, hey guys, look at me, shoot me, I'm right here in the open. What you want to do is you want to sit back, like, stay calm and controlled. What I like to do when I'm playing defensive is go around the outside of the map, because if you're going in the middle, then like I said, everyone's going to be seeing you, everyone's going to be like, hey, that's an easy target, bam, you're dead. Um, so if you go on the outside of the map, you can like, kind of be all sneaky and just pick people off move around to the other side, pick another person off. So you wanna go on the outside and also hold down an area. Um, something I sometimes love to do is, like if you ever see my Newt Out um, series, which I do need to bring back again guys, so don't worry, I will. Um, I also hold down a building because if you know where people are gonna be coming from and know that you can control that area well, then you're obviously gonna be better holding out there rather than so uh, in the middle of the map, say you had a shotgun, you don't want to be in the middle of the map because there's a lot more along the sites rather than in a tight compact building. Uh, so the second tip is going to be learn things about the map. So this means things like the spawns. So if you know where people have been spawning, that is absolutely amazing because spawns are a massive thing in Call of Duty and how to get lots of kills. So what I like to do, especially like I said, um, another example I'm a nuked out, I always like to hold down an area where I know the spawns are, so I know someone's going to be spawning in the room in front, someone's going to be spawning in the room behind, and also somebody like behind the building as well. So spawns are a massive thing, so you can try spawn trap. I know I like love to spawn trap in games because you can easily control the um, area and just constantly get loads of kills, get your streaks, and that's going to really, really help. Um, so spawns. Learn the spawns if you can because it's just going to be so useful. Because to do that, when you die, you get spawned somewhere. That's where the spawn's going to be. It can be dotted like everywhere you spawn. Basically, is going to be a spawn for somebody else. Uh, and then another round and another match. So if you learn the spawns in the map, that's really good. Perfect spawn trap. You know where the people are going to be. Because obviously, you want to know people. Are, you obviously want to know where people are going to be to get kills. And another thing you can do to learn about the map is know how the map plays. So, um, is it a map where everybody rushes to the middle, uh, a bit like Combine, or is it a map where people kind of like flying around a lot, a bit like Exodus? So, if you know how the map plays, then you can use that to your advantage. So, you could maybe wait for people um, to flank, pick them off, and then maybe go around. Um, come behind them and all so hope you guys do know what I mean by that where just know how the map plays is it a rushing map so you can sit back and wait for the people to go hey look at me I'm in the middle bang pick them off or is it a map where everybody flanks and you can try flank them as well And so know how the map plays if it's a rushing or more of like a flanking map and all that um, to know where people are going because you obviously want to know where people are if you want to get lots of kills. Now the third step is use guns that you like. So don't use a gun that you're uncomfortable with. 
I know that when I was trying to go for headshots with the Pharaoh, this is just for like challenges though, when I was trying to use the Pharaoh, I really didn't like it at the beginning, like, I just found it really uncomfortable to use, um, and everything, and then when I went for the Cuda, which is a gun I really do like, I found it really, really easy, so, use guns that you like, because it's going to be more comfortable, you'll be more used to the recoil, more used to the way it plays, um, so, if you have a really good trigger finger, maybe try out the Shiva, or like even the pistol or something, um, like the MX MR6. But if you don't have a trigger finger, don't use the Shiva, maybe use a fully automatic like the KN44 or the HVK, something like that. So use guns that match your playstyle and ones that you like, because um, it's obviously going to fit you a lot better. And the fourth step is kind of connected is use a setup that you like, so this is kind of like just a class. So use attachments and perks that you think would benefit you. So if if you are using the KN44, the iron sights on that are actually, no, a better example, the ICR. The iron sights on that is amazing. It's just like a clear, crystal clear point. If you think you need a red dot, red dot sight on that, fine, you can use it. But because they're so clear, if you can try use um, the gun without red dot sight, that's going to benefit you a lot more because then you can also use that um, extra creator class slot token for something else, like maybe an extra concussion, an extra perk, maybe a different attachment. So use attachments that you like. So if you like to use rapid fire, use that. If you um, if you can control the grip, like I mean the recoil without a grip, then you don't need the grip. You can use that for something else. So use attachments that you like um, and try use ones that you don't actually like don't waste them if you see what I'm saying and the perks so if you like being stealthy and flanking probably use dead silence because you don't want the enemy to know where you are but if you're gonna be um, running right in the middle I probably wouldn't really recommend something like hardwired because that's not that useful because uh, it just shows where the um, so you can't be seen in the by like wraiths and all that. So use the perks and the attachment that you like. It's just the same as step three really because you want to be comfortable with your setup so you know how you can play and you know what you're doing. It's something that I can't really explain that well but just basically use guns and a setup that you like because it's just gonna help you a lot more and don't waste the creator class tokens like I said try not to use red dots if you can try and maybe um, use perks that benefit your style of play and so yeah the last step for this video is gonna be be alert and know what to do next that's a really really big thing so something I love I like to do is when you're in the loading screen rather than just sitting there waiting for the game to start maybe you could think right what am I gonna do when I spawn in what gun am I going to use? Right, so it's combine. I'm going to use an SMG, very small, up close. Uh, everybody's going to be running into the middle of the center to get the B flag. Guess you know what? GI I'm going to flank boys. round and pick them off behind them. So do things like that. So think before you load into the into the game, so you can actually um, think about how you're going to play and just be prepared when other people aren't going to be prepared. Um, and also, say if you're capping a flag, rather than, um, say you were capping B, rather than just rushing out again, while you're capturing it, right, you think, right, so, as soon as I capture this, I'm going to get back, get back to cover, and then maybe flank around, or maybe go, uh, try to capture A or C. So try to think ahead of what you're going to do, it really, really help, like, it doesn't seem like a big one, but... Thinking ahead is really massively going to help because you're going to be more alert for people like flanking or whatever and you're also just going to um, be ready and knowing what to do when people won't be ready and just, it's just going to be a lot better for you guys so yeah hope you guys have enjoyed today's video hopefully guys the tips have helped like I said 10 to 15 likes or above um, it would be greatly appreciated and I will definitely do a second part with more in-depth tips and tricks. Also, subscribe if you are new to stay updated with all my videos in the near future. And so if you guys have enjoyed today's video, I just want to thanks for watching.